Today I wanted to give you a look at um, the load challenge from May, which is uh, the layout a day challenge. And that is hosted over at scraphappy.org. Um, you can be a member of scraphappy.org and the load challenges will be included. Or if you don't want a membership there, you can just sign up for the load challenges independently. Um, we just wrapped up, well just, I guess it's July now, but in May, at the end of May, we wrapped up the um, second challenge for the year. And the next challenge is actually going to be a mini challenge, which will just be a week long instead of the typical month long. So normally the layout a day or load challenge is one layout every day for a full month. In August, there will be a week long um, load challenge and so that would be a way for you to taste this challenge if it interests you. So I wanted to go out through all of the layouts um, that I did uh, for the month of May. I did make it through one single layout, um, one I should say one layout every single day. Um, some of my layouts are digital so as I go through this I'll, I'll make cuts in the video and show you those. So the entire month has a theme to it and this challenge was um, scrapbook magic and so every day there would be a prompt based on the overall theme and then each day would have its own uh, mini theme. So day one was Harry Houdini and there is a story prompt and a technique prompt every day but of course you don't have to follow these. These are just ideas and there are ways to make the challenge more interesting. So for day one, it was Harry Houdini, and the story challenge is, what do you or where do you escape daily life? And then the technique, technique challenge was break the scrappy rules. So my everyday escape is reading a good book in a bathtub, and this isn't one of my typical layouts, so that was breaking a rule. Um, I usually have people in my pictures and not items, so that was it. And then I used even numbers of, of kind of these bubble embellishments, so that was breaking a scrapbook rule. So that was day one. And here's a look at day two. Day two's theme was the Do You Believe in Magic song by the Love and Spoonfuls. And the story prompt was, what is, your ma what is magic that makes you happy? And the technique prompt was, the first lyric talks about magic in a young girl's heart, use something that you loved. So instead of doing specifically the story prompts, I went with the idea of music. And I just um, talked about different genres of music that make me happy. So there's the melodic music like Adele. Um, and then there's groovy music like Zumba. And then there's kind of, I've been listening to a lot of 60s and 70s music. So we've got the Beatles and things like that. So that was day two. Day three's uh, theme was Cinderella. And the story prompt was, what dream could you fulfill or what dream have you already fulfilled? And the technique was to use glassy or glossy effects and or blue like in Cinderella's dress. So I did the idea of if I if I could have maybe wave a magic wand and have one wish come true, I would spend a lot more time in Hawaii. I've been there twice over um, the last ten years or so, and uh, I just I love it. I could snorkel all the time. So I decided with the idea of waving a magic wand, I'd create my fairy godmother who would do the wand waving for me. And I sort of used the glossy accents with these kind of um, epoxy hearts, so they're a little bit glossy and shiny. And here we are at day four. Um, day four was Jack and the Beanstalk. The story said something that turned out better than expected. The technique said use green and gold like the beanstalk and the golden goose. So I did manage to get green and gold in here with my sparkles. And what I decided to do for my story is talk about the magic of learning. And uh, my kids attend kind of an alternative um, education center. And I think that place is wonderful. So I'm always um, happy to talk about how well that my kids do there. And of course, I've got pictures covered up for privacy. So I don't have to get everyone's permission. 
And day, let's see, day five was Rumpelstiltskin, and the story prompt was, what have you turned into something more valuable? And the technique was use rustic and metal embellishments. Um, so the thing that we turned into something more valuable was our old falling apart 1950s kitchen. So I told the story of our kitchen remodel, and I used some uh, rustic twine and some uh, gold metallic, not gold, but uh, metallic embossing. So I hit the prompts on that one. Day six, I actually got to be a guest designer for the project, and this was the layout that I made. And so day six said uh, was about the magic hour, or kind of that golden hour in terms of uh, sunlight and sunsets. And I, let's see, the story prompt said, a scrapbook about a small moment, something you never want to forget. The technique prompt talked about the golden hour photo or a golden glow. And I ended up going with um, a sunset photo and then adding gold embellishments and then talking about how on this day that I took this photo, kind of the, the grateful thoughts that were going through my mind. And then since I was a guest designer and I had pre-made that previous layout ahead of time, I went ahead for my actual own challenge to do something else for that day. And so... I made this layout about my garden and um, how I'm just waiting, <laughs> waiting and waiting for all my perennials to come up for the season. And uh, for this one, I got in some pops of gold and that's how I hit the prompt there. So day seven, I'm gonna pop up here with the um, digital layout. I use the um, Project Life app on my phone um, to do my digital pages and um, Usually I will do those when I'm running low on time and don't have time to sit down and make a full layout. Um, and sometimes those are on prompt or not. Uh, I'm not looking at <laughs> my digital pages right now, so um, I will pop those in here as we go. So day eight was about the magic words or the manner words. Um, and the story technique, uh, sorry, the story prompt said tell about a story about manners. The technique prompt says to use one of the manners words on your layout. Um, so I didn't hit the prompt this time. This is neither about manners um, nor did I use the word prompt on here. But instead I, I uh, was catching up on some 2017 photos of my kids and this was one of the awesome library activities, one of the many awesome library activities that I uh, went to with my with my youngest. Day nine's theme was Bewitched, and the story prompt was, what change, uh, what changes would you make to make daily life easier? And the technique prompt was to use a moon. And so the, the theme of Bewitched is about the old 1960s um, TV show about the housewife who's actually a witch. Day 10's theme was the sword in the stone, the... Um, kind of based off of the Disney animated cartoon. And the story's prompt was, um, who has mentored you or what book has influenced your life? And the technique prompt was use an educational symbol. And so here's my layout for day 10. Day 11 is based on a film called Labyrinth, which was a David, a David Bowie movie. And the story prompt said, what do you have a new appreciation for? And the technique prompt was to use arrows. So I did get an arrow in there. And um, I kind of talked about how I had stopped scrapbooking for a while. And so when I come back to it, I, I realized how much I appreciated it. And how much it kind of helps me with some things. So that fit the theme okay. Here we are at day 12. And day 12 story prompt, or sorry, day 12's theme was about Penn and Teller, the magicians. The story prompt was, do you have a funny story to tell? And the technique prompt was to use pairs of embellishments. And so since it was Mother's Day, I went with the pairs of embellishment and made a then and now layout with, with my three kids. And my son doesn't like to be, um, to be on any film. So he has requested that I not show him. But these are my, my kids for Mother's Day. 
Uh, day 13 was about superstitions, and the story prompt was, are there any superstitions that you hold, or especially if any have been passed down through your family? Uh, the technique prompt was knock on wood, so use a, um, a wood grain or a wood veneer. Day 14 was about the film called Big, which was a Tom Hanks film. The story prompt was, what childhood love do you have, or what brings out your playful spirit, or something that makes you feel like a kid? So it was kind of all about kind of the joy of childhood. The technique prompt was, since there's a giant piano um, uh, scene in the movie, then go ahead and use black and white. And here we are back to paper layouts with day um, 14, and the theme was Dr. Seuss. The story prompt was what character, from anything, do you relate to? And the technique prompt was to use red and white stripes. So I talked about the characters that uh, my daughter and her friend like to dress up as um, when they go to um, kind of a Japanese animation celebration that they have done for many years in the past. So day 16 was based on, off of the Jan and the American song called This Magic Moment. And the story prompt was to tell a story of love or uh, a moment you want to last forever. The technique prompt said, based on the lyric, softer than a summer night, go ahead and use a sunset photo or sunset colors. And for day 17, um, it was based off a film called Now You See Me. And I'm actually not familiar with the film, so um, I didn't know much about it. Uh, the story prompt was tell a story of fooling or being fooled. And the technique prompt was to use a four-word title. Um, I did not hit that here, so I just went back to my 2017 um, photos and worked on that 2017 album. Day 18 was based on uh, the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, The Frog Prince. The story prompt talked about um, how stories through families can change and evolve, and so to tell an epic family tale. And the technique prompt was to use green or crowns. I sort of got green in there. Um, other than that, um, the 18th was actually my birthday. So I talked about turning 45 and and um, use actually used some of the products because my kids got me some scrappy items for my birthday. So I used some of the products they gave me um, on here as well. Day 19 was based on Alice in Wonderland. And the story prompt talks about how Alice has the bottle and cake that are labeled eat me and drink me to tell a story about food or drink. Um, the technique prompt was to use flowers, like the singing flowers from the Disney show. Day 20 was based on Disney World, which is uh, the most magical place. The story prompt was to tell about a happy place. The technique prompt talked about quotes from Walt Disney, and so go ahead and use a quote on your layout. Day 21 was about the magician David Copperfield. The story prompt was, what is your entertainment? What do you like to do for entertainment? The technique prompt talked about, based on uh, his famous Statue of Liberty disappearing trick, um, go with the idea of freedom and either use the word free or freedom on your page or feel free to create something interesting on your page. Day 22 was the Marie Kondo, the life-changing magic of tidying up that's so popular right now. And the story prompt said, what sparks joy? And the technique prompt says, do a minimalist page. And here we are back with paper layouts for day 23. Um, the prompt was about the song called Love Potion Number no. 9 by The Searchers. And the story prompt says, this song is not really a love story, um, so tell a story with a happier ending. And the technique prompt was to use hearts. So this story uh, was taken on my birthday, but the story talks about how my youngest here is the only one of the five of us in our family who doesn't wear glasses yet, and I wonder if someday she might. And I do have a um, another video featuring... Uh, the building of this page. Um, I'll put a link there. It's not my favorite video because um, I filmed the video before I'd gotten my son's permission and he's made it clear that he does not want to be on on the YouTube videos at all. So um, I did manage to finish up that uh, that episode but the filming kind of 
is choppy and cut off because I was trying to respect his privacy. So day 24's theme was The Little Mermaid and the story said tell about having a voice and the technique uh, said to use ocean colors. Well, I actually went with the actual Little Mermaid because my kids were in the school production of Little Mermaid in 2017 and so I just went with that. And of course because I was doing that I could get the ocean colors in there easily. Day 25's prompt was actually about Peter Pan with the story prompt being what makes you sassy, stubborn, or hot-tempered and the technique prompt being use green and pixie dust. Um, but when I'm working on layouts and I've got pictures from similar events for different kids' albums, I will often just kind of reproduce what I did layout-wise with, with the um, layout that's going in my other child's album. And since they're not going to be seen next to each other, I am not worried about repeating myself. Um, so this is just a repeat of the Little Mermaid um, play for my other, other child's album. So day 26 prompt was based on Sleeping Beauty and the story prompt says what are you dreaming of and the technique prompt talks about how the fairies in the Disney film fight over the color of Sleeping Beauty's dress, pink or blue, and to pick which you would like to use. So I did hit the um, kind of the fairy theme and, the, and I picked up on the pink and this is just a story about how my daughter when she was um, and this is from 2017. She was kind of at the end of losing her teeth and the last of her teeth just kind of all fell out within weeks of each other and she was uh, losing teeth left and right. So day 27 is based on the film Practical Magic. Again, not a film I'm familiar with very much. The story prompt was to scrapbook about an important woman in your life. The technique prompt was to use lots of lace. Day 28 was based on Mary Poppins. The story prompt was talking about how her carpet bag had lots of room in it and what would you make room for in your life or how do you make room for things that you want. The technique prompt was talking about how Mary Poppins is practically perfect and so use those perfect touches to finish your page. Day 29 was based on the film Frozen and the story prompt was about sibling relationships, so tell a story about siblings or family. The technique prompt was to let it go and create your own artistic background. Day 30 was based on the film called The Prestige, another film that I'm not familiar with. The story prompt said, talked about how the ending was shocking, so tell a story that shocked you. And the technique prompt was to duplicate something on your layout. So this layout, like I said before, I like to repeat myself when I'm building layouts, and so you will have noticed that there was a previous layout that was Halloween themed, and this is the exact same Halloween, it's just going in my other child's um, book, so I repeated some of the photos and some of the elements, and that's okay with me. I didn't necessarily hit on the um, technique prompts for this one, but that's alright with me too. And then finally, day 31 was based on uh, the Disney film Aladdin. And the story prompt was, what are your three wishes, if you had a genie? And the technique prompt was to use uh, a treasured item on your page. And the idea was to take those scrapbook supplies that you've been hoarding and put them to use. So, 31 layouts in 31 days. If you are interested in this kind of challenge, I do recommend that you go... Um, take a look at the load challenge and like I said in August there will be a just a one week mini challenge and you can kind of get a sense of how it is to scrapbook one layout every single day for a period of time. Thanks for joining me and I will be back next time with another scrappy video.